Yo, what is going on guys? The Deka Street is back and it's basically going to be revamped. I'm going to try to bring you more entertaining commentary. I've read some of your suggestions and some of the things I do agree with bringing bronze players, but this series is going to be a bit more, so I'm showing you guys the revamped lineup. You're going to say these lineups are pretty weird and I do understand that, but you guys will see why I picked certain players and I'm just quickly scrolling over them and you guys are seeing who you have and so far the best player is probably Michael Camilleri or Jonathan Druin in terms of stats, but we have Corey Schneider, Ryan Suter, and John Tavares. John Tavares is gonna lead this team. Welcome to the team, John Tavares. Sometimes we forget why we're here. It's easy to fall off track. These help us remember. These battle scars don't look like the fate. Don't look like the Something no one else could see Tell me what it means when your faith is falling beneath your knees And you can't breathe Everything you see reminds you of what you're not Or something you won't be You gotta take what you're given That's how we live it Don't be mad at the system It's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe in a business Not because they wanna do it Just because they heard it pays And who the fuck wants to be poor No one, that's how we've been raised Society is getting heavy I can feel the weight, the pressure of success is like a hundred million pounds of shame. And that's the reason I'm staying up late, trying to find a way to escape. The stereotypes this day and age is making me feel like the only way I'll be happy is getting signed to a label and making money through rapping. I want to share my emotion because this world is attacking the very principle of life that lets the people be happy. If you don't have a reason to breathe, why even live? These battles go... Tavares, save it back in front! Save me! The score! John Tavares and the Oilers lead! So John Tavares is going to take over the first line of rookies with Jonathan Druin and Athenasu. I'm not sure if I pronounced it right, 99% sure I did not. But the reason why I picked, put John Tavares with those two is because John Tavares is going to be the captain and he's going to lead these two rookies to have good seasons and Athenasu has 90 speed so that's why he's there. The second line is Shifley, a rookie with Shin Karuk, another rookie with Mike Camilleri, a natural goal scorer. The third line. We've got Gritty line, and then the fourth line, we got some rookies as well. And on defense, the first line is just, I'd say, pure skill. The second line, we've got Pouliot and Jones, two rookies. And the third line, we've got the checking line. So that is the reasoning behind that with Suter and Druin as the assistant captains and John Tavares as the captain. And this was open prior to the team. Nothing happens here. I just have this as entertainment for you guys. We opened the 125K pack. We pull a whopping Miku Koivu and a milestone Willie Mitchell. I will explain all the rules and why I decided to change it up and why there's certain players on that lines right after we come back. Slava Voidov has been dropped by the Dikastri due to his suspension in the National Hockey League. The Dikastri has decided to pick up Drew Doughty. The 
first game in Madison Square Garden against this Rangers fan, we are moving in trying to start off with a first game win for this team. Instead of talking about the highlights for this episode anyway, you guys could watch them. You guys have eyes. I don't need to say he scores there because obviously I'm pretty sure you could see that. But we're going to talk about the rules, why I have certain players there, and why I decided to change the series up. So first up, why I decided to change the series up was, for me, A, I was losing. B, I was kind of getting bored with the same team over and over again. I decided that I don't have millions of coins. I'm not going to be able to get Ovechkins and stuff. Even so, I don't think that would be the most entertaining thing anyway. And I already gave you guys about 12 episodes of just playing a non ruleless game of Hockey Ultimate Team series. And you guys enjoyed that, which I'm happy, but I'm trying to give you guys a little bit more excitement and enjoyment there. Definitely going to try to improve my commentaries and make them a little bit more exciting, as well as improve my editing skills and show some more stuff off and give you guys rules, which hopefully will keep you entertained with the series as well. So that is why we changed the series up a bit. It's not too much. It's not like there's 15,000 rules and you guys are going to have to take a notepad down and write them all down. So it's not going to be like that. But what we did is you guys saw we have John Tavares with two rookies. So it's kind of like, sort of could be like an NHL line. The second line we've got uh, sort of a rookie. He's kind of in a shy fleet. I think he's 22, 23, so he's not that old. I mean, not, whew, sheesh, he's not that young. And then we have Shin Crook, which is a like complete rookie. He's like 18 years old. And then we have Michael Camilleri, who is like 33 or something like that, 32. So he's that, that line's kind of, I guess, a bit random. And the third line is our checking line, which you guys can see all those guys are checkers, hitters, enforcers, stuff like that, power forwards, all things like that. And then our fourth line is just a bunch of rookies and kind of I guess kind of random players just like a fourth line would be usually and that is why we picked that line and for defense I think that was a bit more simpler the first line of defense is just pure skill and good defensemen the second line is rookies which you guys I think can know that and the third line is checkers and I guess you could say the big hitters and stuff like that which is exactly the same thing as checkers I just kind of repeated myself but that is the changes we made we just picked a bunch of random players and built a team like that centered by John Tavares as our captain and he's going to lead this team and yes that is what we did now moving in I'm going to try to make it a bit more of an actual realistic type approach when I dropped Voin off before I tried making it realistic and I want to kind of make this I guess like a GM but not too much I don't want to make this way too hard on myself and hard for you guys to understand and stuff like that like you might be it might get a little confusing but I want to make it a really really simplified version of like GM so if I could trade players I could pick up players in free agency that update came out with the free agency list I could pick those guys up for free and put them on my team and I could trade players that I don't use anymore for new ones and I'll try to make them realistic trades obviously not like a let's see a Seth Jones for an Ovechkin that wouldn't work but Seth Jones does have some upside to him he is young so in GM mode he would have some upside to him in terms of his value so he could go for a lot that wasn't the best example better example would be Bolig for like a Claude Giroux that just wouldn't happen no matter what even if you throw 15 first round picks in there but again I'm not gonna make it too too complicated I'm gonna make it really simple I'll just be like I trade him for him and that's it I'm not going to make it too complicated for you guys, and hopefully you still enjoy it. And besides that, that's probably going to be all I do for now, but I'm going to start off with a bad team, as you guys see. I mean, it's not a terrible team. It's got three good players surrounding by it. Well, I'd say two top players, a good goalie, and Voinoff and Camilleri are pretty good. The rest are all rookies or average players at best. So we're going to work around the team, make some trades, upgrade the team by doing that, win some games, and just see how we do. And that's basically going to be the series. I want to know what your guys' opinions on are. If you think I can make it any better, please share some of your, of your thoughts with me because I'd be really excited to hear that. And you guys will see this. we got some sick jerseys we pulled in the pack. I was trying to get these a while ago. They were 13K, and we got them in a pack for free. And we could actually sell them because it was a... I don't even know what type of pack it was, but it was not a non-tradable pack so we could sell those if we do desire but i think the last two episodes we have not been winning with a i'd say overly stacked team it's not amazing it's not the greatest team of all time but i'd definitely say it's probably the top 20 in terms of how good it is maybe it's not that good but it's definitely a lot better than this and we lost i'd say half of our games if not more and so far with this team who i did not expect to do anything we have won all of our games so far and we go into this game with a 1-0 lead. A nice little play right there by Druin, who snipes it, but it does not go in. The goalie makes a save. We do go on the power play, luckily. 
Hansel does decide to take the penalty. John Tavares, the captain, trying to come in clutch with a big faceoff win to Mike Camilleri, and he does come in clutch, and Camilleri would snipe it. That would be a 2-0 lead for us, and that basically, that's basically this, the end of this game, so you guys, you guys know we're doing good. We're playing good defense, we're scoring goals, our goalie's playing pretty good, making some big saves, and overall, it's just fun again. I really like changing things up every now and then. I don't want to do it too much though because I know that can get annoying and I know you guys do enjoy the series how it was. I was reading all the comments. You guys, a majority of you were saying keep it the same and I understand that. I definitely want to keep the tributes, maybe even more. The main frustration is trying to edit it up different, but we'll do that eventually. And we decide to pick up Setaguchi on free agency and we're going to swap him out with Simmons, who Simmons is still on our team, so we can trade him. So Simmons is on our team. We just picked up Setaguchi for free. He is a free agent, so I kind of made that realistic. So welcome to the team, Setaguchi. I'm sorry you're not good enough to get a tribute, and I was kind of kidding about that. I would have gave him one, but we already got three this episode, and that's way too many for me. And we also decided to bring up Mike Camilleri to the first line and bring Athenasu to the second line. So it'll be Mike Camilleri. Camilleri, my oh excuse me, Mike Camilleri, John Tavares, and Jonathan Druin on the first line, and then the second line, we've got Shifley, Athenasu, and Shinkaruk, and then the third line, Bolig, Nielsen, and Setaguchi, and the fourth line, we've got Peter Tan, uh, Patan, and Yurko. So that is our team. I think it's pretty good. If you look at it rookie standpoint, overall wise, it's not good at all. We've got an 86, a 93, and then the rest are under 84. So it's not a really good team. Defense is pretty good. You look at the first line and you're like, wow, it's amazing. And then you look past that and it's really bad. And this next game, we go up against a Pittsburgh Penguins fan. He would throw the puck out to quick. We couldn't get the poke check off. And as you can see here, we walk right into him. He walks by us with a breeze. And we're trying to play some good defense, just covering it up. And we put, he just works us too much. And he takes a slap shot. We, we actually get the puck back, but he gets it right back. And all of our defensemen are gone. I have no clue where they went. And he does score there. We try to get the puck. He gets it through us again. And look again, common denominator. Defenseman, nowhere to be found. I eventually controlled that one, but he was literally standing so far ahead. It is 2-0 at this point. We couldn't create any offense this game. I think the shots were 21 to 13 him. But it was definitely, I think, a more closer game than the score shows. Well, score did show now. And the shots showed because I had more time on attack or similar time on attack to him but I couldn't get many shots. He was really good defensively, and I just couldn't get any high-scoring shots, any high-scoring chances. I had a few. I think one at the post, but besides that, nothing really. And whenever I get in the zone, as you can see, he just works me pretty good. And we are on the penalty kill, so I mean, I guess that's expected, but Jonathan drew him with a great little dangle, and we go back upstairs, and that would be a one-goal game. So anything is possible with our team. We've, we've been on a four-game winning streak, so that is really, really good. But sadly, this game would come down to the closing seconds and our team struggling to get on the board. A bad pass there by Jonathan Druin. And that would be the end of this game, sadly. We do end up this episode with a loss, but I definitely do enjoy this a lot more. And I want to know what your guys' opinions are on this. If you guys enjoy this new series, please leave a like and tell me in the comments. And if you guys want to see me change anything else up, please tell me in the comments as well. The Deacon Street Trades, Shinkrook for Ryan Callahan. There's Callahan moving deep. He shoots. He scores! Rangers win! They're in the playoffs!